Diller has locked himself in his room and refuses to come down. Shut the f up. <laughs> yeah, Diller did it. My brother hooked up with your ex. I don't care being the bad guy. If you've been living under a rock, Dylan Danis has been absolutely crushing Logan Paul on Twitter, X, whatever they call it. Now, most channels have already covered that, so I'm gonna do a little bit of drama, but I wanna get into the meat and potatoes. Which one of these guys is gonna win in the boxing match? Who's the better boxer? So as you can see, Dylan Danis, man, taking full shot at Logan Paul's fiance. I mean, there's just so many of them that I can't even cover it. We got Leonardo DiCaprio multiple times. Honestly, that's not the worst guy to be with, but it just keeps going. Come on, they gotta, with the colonel they got it with the colonel brutal absolute brutality don't even know who this is i mean dylan started taking shots at his dad and this is the thing about the dad always creeped me out a little bit despite what logan says i mean if this was me personally and someone was taking shots at my fiance non-stop i'd probably feel a certain way too like there's no way that this doesn't cause fighting in the house like there's no way logan gets online and goes yo this is you kissing another guy steroids or not leave a comment down below oh no no they got a kiss in the world they got it dylan you're a savage for this one, BMMA hour. They got Ariel Helwani with the full throw. Incredible. Come on, this is elite level trolling. I've covered Adam 22 in a previous video. A little bit of a suspect character. When Adam 22 is coming to your defense, we're talking about coming to the defense of Logan Paul, you gotta question your allegiance and what kind of vibe you're putting off. All right, so Logan Paul has an upcoming boxing match against this Dylan Danis guy. And Dylan's been going on a little bit of a campaign trying to embarrass Logan by pointing out all the guys that his now fiance has spent time with before Logan. This is Ja Rule. Dylan, I don't know how hip hop fluent you are, but this is one of the goats. What's love got to do with it, huh? It's not funny. He's trying to make a correlation between Ja Rule and Tina Turner, and the through line for the punch line is not there, so it's just not funny. Logan, you got people backing you up that are all over the place. Now, if you guys don't know who Dylan Dennis is, we come from the same community, right? Jiu Jitsu, he was a very good Jiu Jitsu competitor. He never really fully lived up to his MMA hype, I think because of alcohol consumption and just a life style choice that's taken him out of the game a little bit, but very talented on the ground for sure. I think he's best known for getting choked out by a bouncer. He gave the thumbs up. He's giving him a thumbs up. This is shortly after the thumbs up. So this is what Dylan Dennis is probably, I don't know if he's best known for this, but it's definitely uh, one of the things you would think about when you think about Dylan Dennis. Logan is best known for his Vine YouTube channel and getting canceled for going to Japan and can't get into that whole thing. But recently Logan had been outed by CoffeeZilla for scamming his audience out of millions of dollars with the whole crypto zoo thing. I don't want to just throw Logan under the bus because Dylan Dennis is another one who attempted to do a crypto scam as well. He was actually set up by CoffeeZilla CoffeeZilla is the same creator who outed Logan for his crypto zoo scandal. So ironically, these are both grifters. These are two people that will do absolutely anything to get over on their audience and make a buck. Yeah, go ahead, try, yeah, try. <laughs> See what happens. Yeah, you deserve, you deserve you deserve that liquid gold. So yeah, this is before the press conference. You got Logan Paul with the pump fake, Dylan Dennis with the slow reaction. You know, these are two guys that are really building the fight excellently. You know, you might feel like Dylan is maybe overstepping his boundaries, but when you consider the individual that he's doing it against, it's kind of understandable, right? Now the press conference between these two guys was very eventful. Not to mention, yo, KSI and Tommy Fury are both on this card and they basically fucking melded into the background. Dylan did a great job of stealing the show. Logan Paul brought out the poster. There was a whole debacle. Papa Fury, the older gentleman, flipped a table. But it was absolute pandemonium. So as promised in this video, I'm gonna cover their actual fighting ability, especially Dylan Dennis, because he's more of a question mark when it comes to stand up. So this is recent sparring footage I think you guys would find valuable. All right, so what do we see? Him bouncing in range. Okay, zero reaction to the jab. So that's a problem, right? So he's bouncing with his hands down in punching range. That's a problem. Eats a jab, pulls it slightly, but if the training partner wanted to step in off that back foot a little harder, he would. Also, he's sparring with, it seems like jujitsu slash MMA guys. I see a Henzo Gracie logo on the guy behind him with the blue shorts. What this tells me is he's not taking his boxing training that seriously. If I'm getting ready to fight on an influencer card, on any card, Hard as a boxer, I'm gonna be sparring with boxers. I'm gonna be in a boxing gym training properly.
Oh no, winging shots to the body. Falling back on his heels in a straight line. I want you to watch this. How he wings shots to the body. Boom, right hand doesn't come back up. He's in punching range. That left hook's landing. The guy's just not punching back at him. Falling back on his heels. No longer in stance to actually counter properly. Oh no. Look at that uppercut. Look at his balance. Look at his chin in the air. That overhand right's landing. So at a certain point, we gotta look at the trolling. Then we gotta take a look at the actual substance of what we're going to tune in for. And some of you guys are gonna spend your hard earned money. Dylan, take your training seriously. You can't box. This is horrible. You know, you've done a great job of marketing yourself, but at the end of the day, the boxing is very, very poor. And you're probably saying, well, Steve, aren't you a jiu-jitsu guy? You guys got to understand, I spent a lot of my younger life from 16 years old on boxing in a gym. So I understand boxing. I'm a big fan of boxing. When I see someone disrespect the art, just like with jiu-jitsu, I got to say something. Now, the clips that we have of Logan are from his prior matches, like the one against Floyd Mayweather. Right as Logan Paul tries to pressure Floyd. Trying to unload now, throwing punches from righty different angles. Floyd covering up. Logan going Floyd. None of those shots are landing. Please. So basically, he's just a sloppy guy, athletic, and we could see that in his WWE work. The dude is super crazy with the backflips off the top rope, all that stuff. We're not taking that away from him. He is highlight worthy. Oh my goodness, what a collision! Become reality. Oh. Logan, second rope. Corner oh. ricochet. Oh. Still leads with his chin, still drops his hands out of position. It's hard for you to land a knockout shot when you're never in range and on balance. He's constantly clinching his opponents. You're probably asking yourself, Steve, is Dylan gonna even show up to the match? I don't know. I suspect that he does, but he's been known to drop out of fights. Luckily enough for us fight fans, Mike Perry is gonna be jumping in as a backup, and Mike Perry is a true to life fighter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Logan don't wanna make eye contact. Logan's intimidated. Yeah, let's go, baby. <laughs> in case Dylan don't show. Give me a prime, bro. Nervous laughter. Mike Perry's a real fighter. You see it in his body language. You see the way he carries himself. And he's done really well as a bare knuckle boxer. If you watch him in BKFC, he's tearing people apart. Left hand from Warren from the nose post. Inside is Perry. This is a guy who can really swing his hands, can take a punch, knows how to clinch, knows how to stay out of the clinch, how to free up his arms inside. That's a tough fight for Logan. If I was Logan, I would really hope that Dylan Dana shows up. Thirsty, let's go. Let's get it, bro. Let's get it, brother. Logan is not a true fighter. He's a great athlete. I'm just saying off of body language, his eyes. I don't blame him. Mike Perry's a fucking savage. My question for you guys is when we promote a fight, how far is too far? Also, what does it take for you to leave a like for this video? I'm the Segway King. If you ever disrespect me, come with me. Well, you guys got to understand if you don't know who Dylan Dennis is, this is a guy who was loathed by MMA fans. He was best known for being a training partner of Conor McGregor's, but more so as a guy who would squander his potential away because of partying. But being matched against Logan Paul has been a phenomenal contrast, and it shows because people hate Logan so much that they're gonna love Dylan. The villain has become the hero just on contrast. I turned into like an anti-hero. I'm like Tony Soprano now, like the bad guy that everybody loves, so I don't care being the bad guy. Let's not lose track of who we're dealing with. These two guys are entertaining, and that's why I'm making the video, but at the end of the day, these aren't two guys that I would ever aspire to be, or I suggest you guys try to emulate. If you guys are interested in learning more about discipline, habits, etc., check out the link down below. The Fight IQ Report is designed to make men better. Strangle Gang, stay strong, and I'll see you in the next one.